Hi, my name is Melissa from Sydney Stingless Bees and today we'll be looking at how to split a native beehive. It normally takes 12 to 18 months for your hive to be ready to be split again. You want the hive to have doubled in weight. Another good indication is that there's lots of bee activity. Anywhere between 30 to 50 bees per minute is a good indication that it could be ready to be split. I always recommend splitting your hive at least once. That way you have a backup hive should your hive die. Now you're going to need some tools and equipment and all of these can be found on my website. So this is the hive that we're going to be splitting. Here is our empty hive. We'll be using a splitting tool, some straps, a knife, sticky tape. Always handy to have a rag or a cloth close by. I always recommend using a hat with a bee net. The bees, although they don't sting, they can go everywhere when you're trying to split a hive in your nose, mouth and hair. And of course a tray to drip off any excess honey. So the first thing you need to do is to cut your straps. Using your hive tool, you want to gently pry the two halves of the hive apart. When you're splitting your hive, you're looking for an even split of brood with honey and pollen. Half of the brood should remain in the top split and half of the brood in the bottom. You don't always see the advancing front when you split a hive. If you find it's not an even split, simply close the hive, reseal and check in a couple of weeks time. So this spiral is the beautiful spiral of the Tetragonella carbonara. It's what we also call an advancing front. So these open cells here is what the queen will lay an egg in. They'll be provisioned with food and then later on they will be resealed. Now this one here is what we call an emergency queen cell. In the hive there could be a number of virgin queens in there just waiting for the opportunity to become queen. So when you split the hive, one half of the hive becomes queenless. So that one of these emergency queen cells or one of the princesses that are in waiting, what will happen is they will fly away, mate with a drone from another hive and then come back and start laying eggs in the new hive. So that way both hives will have a queen. These yellow parts, that's the pollen that the bees have collected and then over here are your honey pots which have been broken. Using the hive tool I'm just going to scrape along the outside just so that we have a nice clean surface for the top of the hive to join to. So use the rag just to make sure that there's no honey. So now that your hive is already cleaned, we've scraped it off, wiped any excess honey off, it's just as simple as adding a new lid to the top of your hive. So you place it on top, making sure that it's all lined up. Then we want to use some sticky tape to seal up this joint. The bees will make an internal seal, but that will take them a little bit of time. So this protects the hive from any insects laying grubs in the joint. We just wrap it around two or three times. All that needs to be done now is to restrap it. This is the bottom split of your hive and that's completed. So now we just repeat the process with the top half of the hive. What I will do is I will drain the honey off. It's less work for the bees to clean up and it also doesn't attract any insects. Scrape around the outside again, wiped any excess honey off. The top basically just goes on this bottom. Lining it up again. and seal the box.
So this is our two hives that we've just split. This is the top and this is the bottom. I recommend putting the top back into the original position and you can move the bottom because that's a more stable split. You can move it to somewhere nice and shady in your garden or as a gift you can give it to family or friends to keep the love of stingless bees going around. For a more detailed explanation of the workings of a native beehive, Tim Hurd has a fabulous new book out called The Australian Native Bee Book. It's a fabulous resource of all information about the bees with beautiful photos and diagrams. You can check it out on my website. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more Sydney Stingless Bees adventures.